white female walks into a police precinct, open fire, opens fire, and they apprehend her. Here it is. The video is pretty straightforward. She walks in, she's being aggressive and continues to be aggressive. Nobody has shot her yet. This is amazing. What you're witnessing is a miracle here. And then as they ignore the individual, this happens, okay? And still, there is no assault. The grenades and the bombs or whatever else they have at that precinct, they don't come out. The cops come out with tasers, okay? What you're about to see, if someone told you this is the way it happened, you would never believe it without a video. Look at the taser. She was shooting at them. Put up the picture full mass. I'm not saying she should have died. I'm actually always in celebration of life being preserved because I believe life is precious. But I want to make the point that if they were able to restrain themselves in their own precinct, to not kill a person who's shooting at them in their own precinct, that obviously everyone would have understand, understood why you shot her if you did. They came running out. Did you see the taser? The Connecticut office of the inspector general released footage earlier this week showing this woman identified as 51 year old Susan LaPrize going into the lobby of the Bristol PD on October 5th after 10.30 PM holding a gun, banging on the glass with the weapon multiple times for four seconds later shooting. The gun at the door. She was eventually tased. She was then subdued by the officers. Body camera footage posted by local affiliate WTNH shows the incident from the officer's point of view. They ordered her to get on the ground, and one lets off shots from behind the door before running into the area. Okay. The prize is reportedly facing illegal discharge of firearm. Criminal mischief, criminal use of a weapon, and criminal intent attempt to commit murder with special circumstances, along with an array of other charges. She was apprehended. Now, who do you think she's charged with trying to commit murder against? The police. There's more. Before entering the police station, the woman was drinking at a local bar, according to NBC Connecticut and CT Insider citing court documents. She confided in a woman that she had the weapon on her and would go to the police department to demand that they kill her or I will shoot them. Out of the blue, she starts to talk about how she has a disabled son, how she feels trapped, okay? The woman told law enforcement her CT insider. She added that uh, LaPrize allegedly said her boyfriend was a cop. And that she decided to take the gun from him. The outlet later confirmed that he is, in fact, a former NYPD police officer. The outlets reported that the woman gave LaPrize advice on where to receive mental health, or mental health treatment, and talked her into going home. However, she went to the station instead. The incident left about $26,000 in damages. An investigation from multiple agencies is underway. Once again, I am happy to see life being preserved. And I'm glad to see nuance being allocated because possibly there is a mental health dynamic here. What I'm saying to you, what I'm submitting to you, is that let's not only apply the narrative, 
when a white woman engages in actions like this. Now, more information will come out as to her why. But no matter what that conclusion is, how many times have you seen unarmed black and brown human beings who were killed because they were having a bad day and had no weapon on them at all? Hmm? Did anybody speak up for them? Did anybody provide nuance for their mental health struggles that day, the difficulties of their life? No, they would have called all those actions premeditated. All right, we will bring you updates as they come.